Eating right in the new year does not have to mean eating bland, eating yucky, taking out all the good stuff, and here is proof. Janine Washley is here from Cloverfield's Farm and Kitchen, and Janine's going to share with us some secrets to eating really good food that is also good for you. We're going to do snacks, breakfast, you got We're it all. We're going to do it all. Okay. And this is the way I eat. I have a lot of people that ask me, how do you actually taste your recipes? I do. I taste everything, but I taste it. I don't sit down and eat a plate of it. And this is how I eat during the week. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you some secrets and I'm going to tell some stories on my husband this morning. So, okay. um, number one, don't, don't tell don't tell your family everything. That you're eating, that this is a new healthier recipe where no. I have substituted the whatever it is you love, you know. <laughs> no, I just, I just tell him it's a new recipe I'm trying out. If he even asks, if he likes it, I don't say a thing. Move right I on. just keep on moving. Okay. And I also make new ingredients look familiar. Okay. So um, Saturday when he ate this, I told him it was a new take on broccoli cheese casserole. So instead of rice, this has farro in it. And farro is a type of a wheat berry. And he ate up a whole bowl of it. Which, if it's a wheat berry, then does that mean, I guess, you get more protein and you don't get just all carbs? Yes. It'll it's, fill you up more Exactly. Than you okay. feel full faster. Okay. And I might add that all of these represent power foods. Now, okay. power foods is a new term. It, they used to be called superfoods, mm -hmm. but superfoods led people to believe that they were, you know, super. Invincible. <laughs> exactly. And, yeah. and um, power foods just means that they're powerful. It just means that they have the highest amount of nutrition for the lowest amount of calories, and they do the most good for your body. All right, what are these? These are, look like scones. They are. Okay. They are oatmeal quinoa scones. That's and, also substituting something you know, or making something different look familiar with the quinoa. Exactly. It's also protein. It's, it is. It is the most, um, uh, the highest source of uh, plant-based protein that you can get. And it's this not really it a grain, like. it's a seed. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to rinse it. It has sap on, on the outside of it. So you have to rinse it about 12 times or it tastes bitter. But it, if you take this and eat just a regular salad, you won't feel hungry like an hour right. later, which right. I think is a diet buster for a lot of people. They'll eat a green salad and then they'll feel hungry, maybe even 30 minutes later. Right. If you add protein to your salad, it really helps to fill you up. Now, so, you've also made these little, you call them power bites? I call them power bites. Okay. Um, the, this, is, this is all that's in it. It's tart cherries, cranberries, almonds, and um, some dates, okay. uh, some honey, and some orange zest. And the way that I make them, this is a... A date. Uh, well, actually, it's a fig, a fig. and you just okay. take it and you just stuff it in here like this. That's it. That's it. That's all you do. And I keep these in the uh, pantry. My husband and I have a terrible habit of going in the pantry, shutting the door, and looking at the snacks. So now this is what's in the pantry. And those and are your healthy snacks. Exactly. And David has some raisins in there because he he prefers raisins. Now show me real quickly. You say using pomegranate mm -hmm. seeds. These are this is another power food. How it do is. you handle a pomegranate? Oh, pomegranates are super easy. My mom taught me this trick. Just cup your hand, cut it in half, put it like this, take a tablespoon and whack it and see how the seeds come out. You're supposed to eat the seeds. Yes. In, in well, actually, actually, these are called arils. The seed is okay. inside of this. So this is just a one, it pops in your mouth and all mm -hmm. of this delicious juice comes out, that pomegranate juice comes out. And you just sit here and just tap it like this and that's it. You don't have to put it in a bowl under water. You don't have to juice it. You don't have to do anything. In about two minutes, you've got all of this taken care of. Now I want, I don't know if it's Sterling in here somewhere. He was he was really skeptical about your healthier alternatives oh. today. And I wanted him to try the chocolate mousse. Um, yes. Which I don't even well, see he ran actually, off. Mike Marshall. Mike Marshall, might you be. want to try it? Come on over. Okay. So this looks we like We all a, love chocolate here on WDRB in the this morning. This looks like a, a, a bowl of greens and it is. But this uses tofu chorizo in it. Okay. And I just wanted to show it looks it's delicious. It's got heart healthy fats. I used some olive oil in it. Um, David had this last night. It was potatoes and um, a smoked ham hock and greens. But look how good this looks. Make things look familiar. Okay. So this looks like chocolate pudding. Right, My Mike. husband's been you're eating gonna, this. You're not going to spoon it's, feed me? No. <laughs> it's I'm going to let you do it on your own. It's chocolate mousse. Yes. Let him take a bite and then we'll tell him what's in it. <laughs> it, and I promise oh, it's drink. good. My husband's been eating this for five years. He, he loves no it with fresh bananas. Now it's been chilled in the refrigerator. Tastes like chocolate it's mousse. Like chocolate mousse. What's in it? It's I avocado honey and cocoa powder. And you take really ripe avocados. Do you t I can hint, get a hint of the fresh, avocado. That's but, about you it. Don't, but you don't huh. know it now that, now that you've, now that you've been told. I would have known if you wouldn't have told me. Exactly. All right, exactly. so there you go. Janine so, is going to share all these recipes yes, to take these unfamiliar absolutely. things, make them look familiar. Yes. All you do is go to our website, wow. wdrb.com. 
We've got a link there, there go. where you can email Janine. She emails you a whole bunch of recipes. And coming up in just a little while, we're going to talk about some meatless menu recipes and how yes. you can trick the family with those. Basically so. All right. Thank you, Janine.